Will, we're back for a Silver Boot Series preview. That's right. The Astros going to the weekend to their home away from home at Mimic Maid Park 2.0 to face the reigning MLB champions, the Texas Rangers. But you know what? The Astros love playing in Arlington. Let's talk about it on this edition of Locked on Astros. Jainel Diaz, this is Locked on Astros. Welcome to Locked On Astros, your daily Astros podcast. Here are your hosts, Eric the Man Heisman and Brett H-Town Wheelhouse Chansey. Hey there and welcome into another edition of Locked On Astros. I'm H-Town Wheelhouse and we're going to, I'm going to, um, preview the silver boot series look you can find me at h john wheelhouse on x instagram and tiktok you can find me at strohs 411 on facebook and on and on x but soon that is going to change to back to the bullpen podcast you can find me on b2b actually b2 bullpen on instagram and x and you can find Eric at Eric Talk Strohs and you can find him at Talking Strohs on X and you can find him on Instagram at, at Eric Heisman. Make sure you make us your team every day. YouTube is where you can find our show. Subscribe to us. We love the interaction. We love the comments. Thank you so much for suggestions. We're excited about this team. Yes, we know that they're two and five and we know that the Rangers are four and two right now. But we like playing on the road. Jordan Alvarez even actually acknowledged it on the post-game interview with Julie Morales. We talked about that last night. But make sure that you know that this episode is brought to you by Prize Picks. That's right. The easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Go to prizepicks.com slash locked on MLB and use the code all lowercase locked on MLB for a first deposit match up to $100. That's right. A hundo. Now, I'm not going to talk about any of the last series. I'll be looking ahead and see what we have going. Because Friday night, you have a pitcher from Texas, Cody Bradford, 26-year-old lefty, is 1-0. He pitched five innings, his first game, six strikeouts, a 3.60 e ERA. The kid's from Alito, Texas. You have Hunter Brown going. Um, he's got an 0-0 record right now. We know that Hunter Brown went out and actually pitched a decent game. Uh, it was one of those games where the Astros didn't do a whole lot. He had five strikeouts and only four innings pitch, a 1.50 whip. Hopefully, they're hoping that he can go a little bit longer. And this is a silver boot series that probably means more than any this year. Um, look, the Astros did win the division, uh, but uh, ultimately in the end, it was the Rangers who got the upper hand. Um, if you were at game seven like I was, it was painful to watch but the Rangers are in a World Series title. And so you have the reigning World Series champions coming in, uh, or the Astros going into the house of the reigning World Series champions. And there's really not a whole lot of background on either one of these pitchers um, versus the Astros. Um, you actually, well, no, actually, with the 26-year-old, you do have um, four Astros that have at least four at-bats. Tucker's hitting 500. Bregman 250 and Jose Abreu 250. Altuve hasn't gotten a hit, but only one at bat. Jordan Alvarez only one at bat. And on the flip side, you have the Rangers versus Hunter Brown. Um, you have Jenikowski who hit sitting 600 on him. Whether he'll start or not, we don't know. Simeon 556, Seeger 333, um, Smith 500, uh, Jonah Heim, 286, and it doesn't look like there's well, there's no Garcia in there. Oh, yeah, Garcia, seven at-bats, one RBI, 143 average. So Hunter Brown's fared pretty well. And I really think that this series, does it set the tone early? Now, I was really wanting to talk about a tone-setting series early in the season, but I still think it's too early in the season. Now, it would be nice to set the tone with the Rangers in the 2024 season, but I don't think it sets the tone for the rest of the league and who we play. I think how we play, if we continue to play well, if the Astros go up, you know, last year when when the when the Astros beat the Rangers the way they did, everybody in Arlington thought it was over. The locked-on Rangers, Bryce, Bryce Patrick thought it was over. I mean, 
they were talking, this is the worst series, the worst thing to happen since we lost World Series Game 7, and they, they were freaking out. So the Astros have these games in Arlington this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, a three-game series. I was, that's right. Ooh. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, it's a four-game series. Then they're off to Kansas City. Then they're back into Houston for three. They have a six-game homestand, three against the Rangers, three against the Braves, which, guess what? Justin Verlander could be making his first start against the Atlanta Braves. So you like that there's four games in Arlington. If the Astros can take three or four versus Arlington, and then the Rangers come back here and they win the three games, you're going to be like, okay, it's more of the same story. So, I think not just this series going away. Jordan said we love playing on the road, but winning in Arlington, getting that confidence, not doing what they did here. But look, as much as there was a horrible report card after the Astros Yankees series of the four game sweep, the Astros pitching staff only gave up two runs over three games to the Toronto Blue Jays. The Toronto Blue Jays don't have a bad offense. Now, all their guys aren't firing on all cylinders. Bo Bichette was out for the first game, but they only scored two runs the entire series. I mean, that's insane. And when I said that to myself today and I was looking back at the scores and I'm like, I was at the first two games and I was like, I know the first game was a no hitter, but it still boggles my mind that they only scored two runs and it was off of Schneider's home run. So the Astros pitching was completely different in the second series than they were the first series. They've got to go to Arlington because Arlington has a very good offensive lineup. They beat the they beat the Rays yesterday four to one. They they go to four and two on the season and they have an off day like the Astros. So they have some rest. And then after Friday, you you know, of course, we talked about Brown versus Bradford. And then coming in, you got Jonathan Gray. And then you have a big to be determined. To be determined on that day. And I'm just going to look at the at the Astros website and see if on the game notes, if they gave us probable starters, because I could not remember off the top of my head. And I really hate to misquote things. It says right here, probable starters. It still says to be determined or to be announced. Um, six of five Saturday start, seven o'clock or April 7th, six ten start. Ronel Blanco versus Dane Dunning. So we've got Bradford Gray Dunning. Dunning's one to know with the 4.26 ERA. And then you got Framber Valdez going on Monday versus Andrew Heaney, 0 and 1 with the 1.93 ERA. Okay. So we've we've got that lined out. We don't yet know who's going to be pitching. It is supposedly JP France. And J.P. France was on paternity leave. So far, from what we've heard, everything's going well with his wife. Continue to uh, just praise us for that. That's awesome that J.P. France just had a baby, um, or his his wife just had a baby. Rena Blanco's wife just had a baby. And so that is definitely exciting news. Um, and so, really, I think in Arlington, this is our home away from home. But what I want to talk to you today about is this really cool thing that that we like to mention on the show and it and it's called factor meals okay factor meals is here to help you get the meals you need and to get the meals you need and the time you need them so let's talk about factor and how they can help you today this episode is brought to you by factor meals that's right. Are you tired of eating out and spending all the extra money or thinking that there's no way you can cook at home because you're not a chef? Well, don't worry about it because every fresh, never frozen meal is chef crafted, dietitian approved, and ready to eat in just two minutes. I mean, think about it. You could go do the romantic thing, guys, and go out and buy all the ingredients and make all the food, make the mess in the kitchen, even do the dishes afterwards. Or you can get factor meals. And if, especially if you're on the go, if you're the businessman, you're on the road, the businesswoman, you're on the road. I, I mean, I mean, look, when you come home, you don't have time to do all this prepping. 
Get chef-prepared meals on table in two minutes with Factors Ready to Eat Meals. We're celebrating Earth Day all month long. Look out for the Earth Month Eats badge on the menu for our lowest carbon footprint meals. That's right. You care about the environment? Well, so does Factor. Head to factormeals.com slash locked on MLB 50 and use the code locked on MLB 50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box. That's code locked on MLB 50 at factormeals.com slash locked on. That's locked on MLB 50 to get 50% off your first box and plus 20% off your next box while your subscription is active. Active. No fuss, no mess meals. Factor is here to eliminate the hassle today. <clears throat> All right. So <laughs> I just did that on the mic. I'm going to have to edit that out. Sorry for those of y'all watching. I do apologize. Um, that was very rude of me. But I also want to tell y'all about our friends at Prize Picks. Prize Picks is a great fantasy app. I love it. Use the code Lockdown MLB for your first deposit match of up to $100. That's right. Spring training is over. Full season is here. Whether it's strikeouts, RBIs, or first inning runs, or no hitters by Renault Blanco, Prize Picks is here for you today. You can win up to 100 times your money on Prize Picks as the world's best players take the game to a whole new level, especially with basketball season playoffs coming around April 20th. And April 16th, 17th, and 19th, as the playing rounds, you can bet on things like le le <laughs> Legends of the League, like Jordan Alvarez, who's heating up, Jose Altuve, Mookie Betts, LeBron James, or even Shohei Otani. You can bet on Shohei. Wow, that is a contra. No, that's Anyways, let's move on. Prize picks is the best way to get action on sports in more than 30 states across the country, including California. That's right, Texas and Georgia. You hear that, Reddick? And you can play with guys like Meek Meal and Sugar Shane O'Malley and the Community Plays Promos tab. There's all kinds of stuff. You can turn $10 into $100. Quick withdrawals and easy gameplay and an enormous selection of players and stats that are unlike any other. Price Picks number one fantasy sports app today. It offers weekly promos, so download the app today and use the promo code LOCKEDONMLB for your first deposit match of up to $100. Pick more, pick less. It's that simple. All right, so what are we looking for? This is a home away from home. This is a place where the Astros play very, very, very well. The Astros have fared so really good at Mimic Made Part 2.0. But what is their actual record? Well, let's just say this. Recently, it's been a lot better than 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 it has been lately. <laughs> I didn't realize this. The Astros actually are 63 and 70 over their lifetime versus the Rangers in Arlington. But I would fair to say that I don't have the breakdown of every season that we have dominated them from 2017 on for the most part. You had that one year, 2016, where they kind of got us this last year. They got us in the playoffs. I guess that counts, too. But this is their home away from home. For whatever reason, the Houston Astros see the ball very well in this ballpark. I expect the pitchers to go an extended amount of innings, saving the bullpen. I expect Hayter to be on his game. I expect Abreu to be better. Abreu, it's going to be an interesting, interesting if Abreu gets up while Garcia is at the plate. Garcia just got beamed three. Well, he got hit. Two other Rangers got hit. Josh Jung, I believe, had some sort of fracture on his hand by getting hit by a pitch by former Houston Astros pitcher, Phil Maton. A lot of people are saying Phil Maton did it on purpose. And then, yeah, I kind of joke with some friends. Phil Maton was getting Garcia back for all that stuff that brushed up with Maldi. I don't, I don't know that Maton's doing that. I don't know that his memory's that long. But at the end of the day, this is going to be a very contentious battle. And if you're a Houston Astros fan, you're going to Arlington, just get ready. You're going to hear it. They're going to be talking about the World Series win. They're going to be talking about dominating the Astros. That is okay. Let them have their day in the sun. Now, don't let them be super disrespectful. Like, you know, when I went, I had a, I'll, I'll be real honest. There's about four or five of you jokers, you cats that go up in that stadium. Y'all made that experience absolutely terrible. But for the most part, the 98% of the people that I interacted with outside of, and none of those guys considered 2%, maybe less than 1%. Most everybody there was cool. I've got friends that are going to the game. I got friends that are like, hey, you can have a seat right next to us. And the sea of Rangers fans are like, well, I don't really have time this weekend. 
but we'll get there eventually. Next time they get to Arlington, I will be there um, with some friends hanging out, hopefully. Um, but I really think that Jordan Alvarez is going to continue his uptick. I think that 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 Altuve will do the same. I think that Pena is getting confident in his new shorter swing. But there are some Astros updates that I need to make y'all aware of a couple press releases that happened during the day. Um, the Astros claimed right-handed pitcher Miguel Diaz off waivers from the Tigers and outfielder Cooper Hummel from the Giants to make room on the 40-man roster. They transferred Luis Garcia and Penn Murphy to the 60-day IL. Penn Murphy, who they just recently got. The announcement was made by Dana Brown. Diaz will join the Astros active roster and take place of Dylan Coleman. Dylan Coleman actually came in and did a great job. He will be optioned to AAA Sugarland following last night's game. Hummel has been assigned to AAA Sugarland. Diaz made 12 appearances, three starts for the Tigers. He posted a .64 ERA, one earned run in 14 innings pitch with 16 strikeouts, a .929 whip, and a 163 opponent batting average. He's appeared in the part of six seasons with the Padres, the Tigers, and he's gone 6-2 and two with a 4.84 ERA. And then Hummel has spent the majority of last season in AAA Tacoma with the Mariners organization, hitting 262 at 27 doubles, six triples, eight homers, 47 RBI, and 26 stolen bases, an OPS of 844 in 106 games. So there you go. Murphy was claimed off of waivers from the Braves. He is currently recovering from UCL procedure performed in June. And so he it looks like he's going to be out. And then a word on Bennett Sosa, it's a guy that we thought was going to show some promise. He did show promise at the end of the season, but he's a guy that the Houston Astros were counting on this year. Bennett Souza underwent surgery on his thoracic outlet syndrome yesterday for thoracic outlet syndrome. Sorry. As a result, he's expected to miss the remainder of the 2024 season. He posted a 3.38 ERA and eight innings pitch in spring training, began the regular season on the IL due to discomfort in his left shoulder. He was claimed off a of waiver from Detroit in 2023. And he was assigned to AAA Sugarland after being called up to the big club on September 14th. He allowed just one hit on 6.1 scoreless innings. So as a 28 has a combined 32 relief appearances in the majors in the last two seasons between the White Sox Brewers and Astros. So, so Souza, who we had hoped would give us a spark or be someone that would help us out in the end is not going to be able to do that. He is done for the season. So let's talk about our friends at Re Robin Hood Retirement. Did you know that even if you have a 401k for retirement, you can still have a, you can still have an IRA. Robin Hood has the only IRA that gives you 3% boost on every dollar you contribute when you subscribe to Robin Hood Gold. But get this, now through April 30th, Robin Hood is even boosting every single dollar you transfer in from other retirement accounts with a 3% match. That's right. No cap on the 3% match. Robin Hood Gold gets you the most for your retirement thanks to their IRA with a 3% match. This offer is good through April 30th. So get started at Robinhood.com slash boost. Subscription fees apply. And now for some legal info, here is a claim. Claim as of quarter one, 2024, validated by Radius Global Market Research. Investing involves risk, including loss. Limitations apply to IRAs and 401ks. 3% match of Robinhood re requires Robinhood gold for one year from the date of the first 3% match. Must keep Robinhood IRA for five years. The 3% matching on transfers is subject to specific terms and conditions. Robinhood IRA, available to U.S. customers in good standing. Robinhood Financial LLC, member SPIC, is a registered broker dealer. All right, folks, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to hope that you guys enjoy the series. I'm going to go ahead and tell you who I think wins this series. I think the Astros actually, um, I just believe that they're going to take three out of four. I'm going to be positive, always positive, always throws. I think some people are picking them to go even but I don't see them losing this series. I see them going out there doing what they can do. They are not intimidated by the Rangers. Yes, they got their rings, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because Houston Astros, I think are slowly turning the corner, looking like they are back to crush city and the pitching staff is doing their job. The relief pitchers follow suit. 
And I think we see a Houston Astros series victory where they go to Kansas City to face Bobby Witt and the Kansas City Royals. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm H-Town Wheelhouse. I'm out.